latest and terrifying case of swatting. Those pranks where a fake 911 call brings down a SWAT team on unsuspecting and innocent people. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Bang Jam here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Recently, you guys have been killing it with the like button. We've been getting over 1,500 likes on like almost all my videos. So if we could try to get 2,000 likes today, that'd be absolutely amazing. I know it's kind of annoying to ask for likes. All YouTubers do it, but it honestly makes a huge difference. So if you could just hit quickly hit the like button right now, that'd be much appreciated. I'm actually in Florida right now. I just got here. I'm at a resort, as you guys can see. We out here in Florida right now. So I'm going to be making some crazy videos out here and some vlogs, so stay tuned for that. If you are not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe. Anyways, I'm blabbing on at this point. Let's get into the video. Okay, so just before I came to Florida, I was in California visiting a lot of YouTubers, going to a lot of YouTube parties, having a lot of fun there. It was overall an amazing time. I met like a ton of my YouTube friends. I can't wait to go back to California and say what's up to everyone again. In the two weeks that I was there, a ton of crazy things happened. A lot of it I've already talked about and I've made a ton of videos about it, but I still haven't told you guys the craziest thing that happened there, and that's what I'm here to talk about today. Now, I've been swatted three times before. One of them had to do with YouTube and the other were just like random situations that I was in. Actually, two of them had to do with YouTube and then the other one was just like a school thing. I already talked about it. You guys have probably seen that video. If you haven't seen that video, it's on my channel. Go watch it. I got swatted at school because this teacher was giving a demonstration on a gun. Somebody thought they pulled out a real gun. Anyways, it's quite common to get swatted when you're a big YouTuber. Many of my big YouTuber friends have gotten swatted in the craziest ways. One of my friends, Faze Dirty, actually got swatted and it was actually on the news. Like, he was on the news for getting swatted. It was pretty funny. I'm holding Faze Dirty! <laughs> Curtis is home simply playing the online war game Call of Duty when those real guys with real guns showed up. And the big sheriff guy comes over and he's like, who's Curtis? And like when he said that, I was just like... I was like, uh-oh. But this time when I got swatted, it was on a much huger scale. Like, I've been swatted before, but it's kind of been contained. It's been pretty calm. The cops usually understand it has to do with you being a big internet personality, and they don't actually, like, threaten to, like, they don't actually throw you on the ground and put you through that much hurt, because they know it's just a prank call, but they still have to go through the precautions. Like, they still have to show up at their house, because it's part of your job. But this time when we got swatted, these cops were not taking it as a joke. They actually thought something was happening here, and it was really intense. So after one of the days at VidCon, which is, like, a huge YouTube event, we all went to, like, the Hollywood Hills to go to a huge party at this big YouTuber's house. I'm not going to say any of the YouTuber's names, but there was a ton of big YouTubers there, okay? So this address was sent to a ton of people, right? The address to this house was sent to a ton of people, mostly just YouTubers, and the YouTubers would send it to each other. So the address was out there. It was floating around. We all showed up at this house. We all showed up at this house. It was just a normal party for the first few hours. Well, it wasn't normal. Like, it was an insane party. Like, it was a really freaking good time. I'm not even going to pretend like it wasn't a really good time. Nothing, nothing crazy happened for the first two hours, but along the lines, I guess when you send an address out to a ton of YouTubers, somehow, some where one of the YouTubers could leak it to their friends or it could get hacked. I don't know. Their phone could get hacked. The address could get hacked. I don't know exactly how the address was found by this guy who swatted us, but basically somewhere along the lines, the address was leaked. This hacker or whoever whoever swatted us found this address. So in the Hollywood Hills, there's really high security because a lot of celebrities live up there and stuff and they have like extreme security because people are always trying to break into where, where celebrities live, like trying to meet them, trying to get in their backyard and stuff. It's really crazy. Like when you're a huge YouTuber or like you're a big celebrity, like people go to crazy ends to stalk you. So security is like super high on this hill. So whoever got the address called the police and reported something on this house. Like I'm not sure, I'm still to this day, I don't know exactly what was said, like why we were being swatted. Cause usually when somebody swats you, they give a reason like, oh, this guy in here has a gun or they're like growing drugs in this house or a drug deal is happening here. They'll make some excuse so the SWAT team will show up at your house. I don't know what happened. I don't know what they said to make the SWAT team show up at this YouTube party, but a ton of police showed up. I've never seen more police in one location for a party in my entire life. Like, I've gone to a lot of college parties and stuff, and I've seen the cops show up before. Sorry, there's a bus behind me. I've seen the cops show up before, and it gets a little crazy sometimes, but it's never gotten this crazy. Again, in the Hollywood Hills, they don't take this stuff as a joke. Like, it's really intense, and they always have security, like, really high up there. So, about two hours into the party, one of the YouTubers, I'm not gonna name, he came in, but it was his house, and he's like, guys, the cops are outside. Everyone be quiet. Everybody keep the noise down, because we just thought it was a noise complaint. We thought maybe the neighbors gave a noise complaint or something, so everybody's like, keep the noise down, guys, and I looked out the window my friends looked out the window. You can see like three or four police cars like driving up and down the street just like looking at the house and stuff like patrolling it I guess. They didn't actually get out of their car or anything but they were just looking up and down at the house. Which looking back I guess they may have been but, like scouting out the house like ways like to get in the house without like disturbing too much of the public or anything. I don't really know what they were doing. I can't really tell. That's just my guess at what they were doing because they didn't come in that time and they didn't come back for another hour. So these cops left and everybody just assumed it was okay so the party kept going. And like an hour after this happened. So like an hour after the first cops like came up and patrolled 
of the street, we just hear a loud knock on the door, and they're like screaming, like open up the door, like it was terrifying. Like it's like something out of like a Project X movie. I don't know if you guys have seen the movie like Project X, but it's like this movie where they throw like one of the biggest parties ever thrown, and it, it felt like that. Like it felt like I was living Project X. Some dude like knocks on the door, and the guy opens the door. I wasn't there to see him open the door, but a bunch of police officers wearing like bulletproof vests swarmed into the house. They like screamed and told all of us to get against the wall, like kneel against the wall. So we're all just like kneeling against the wall, like a bunch of huge YouTubers, like people with millions and millions of subscribers and like lawyers and stuff who could potentially sue like these police officers for like unjust cause are all just lined up against this wall. So I'm like terrified at this point. Like I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm not trying to go to jail. I actually thought like maybe somebody at the house actually did something wrong and I was involved in it. So I thought like, hey, maybe I was gonna go to jail or something. I don't know. A lot of thoughts were running through my head when a bunch of police are in the room like putting you against a wall and telling you to be quiet. Apparently a SWAT helicopter showed up to him was like shining a light on the house. That's what one of the people told me, but I never actually saw it. So I don't know if that's true or not. It could be. I wouldn't be surprised. A lot of helicopters roam around the hills to like check up to make sure nobody's breaking into any houses. So apparently there was a police helicopter there. I never saw it, so I can't confirm that. But basically we were all just sitting in a room being watched by these police with like guns. They weren't drawn. They didn't have their guns drawn. Only one of the police officers had their guns drawn, but the rest of them had them like in their pockets and they were just like watching us and stuff. The guy who owned the house went to another room with a main like sergeant officer, I guess, and they talked about something and they basically came out and they told us that we were all going to be charged a thousand dollars. Like each of us were individually going to be charged a thousand dollars and there's nothing we could do about it. And like everybody was asking like why and stuff and they just kept telling us to like shut up and like putting us back against the wall. It was really scary. It's one of those moments where you just can't think straight and like everything's just happening so fast and you're just like trying to think of like what's going to happen next. But basically all of us sat against the wall for a good like 20 to 25 minutes and finally the police left. Nobody got charged any money, which I don't understand. They said we were each going to get charged a thousand dollars. I guess the owner of the house explained in the situation and stuff. I really don't know like what was said. Like I really don't know what the guy who called in said we were doing, but like all the police left after like a half an hour. So luckily we got off. I left the party right after that, man. A lot of people stayed, like continued to party all night. I don't know how you could do that. Like I was so stressed out that whole time for the half an hour. Like I almost cried. I'm not a guy who gets scared, but like literally I was almost at the point of crying. It's kind of cringy to say that, but like it was scary, bro. If you guys were there, you would understand. Anyways, I just wanted to share that story. All the guys that I was there at that house with, you know who you are. One guy actually helped keep me calm. So shout out to you, dude. Anyways, it's been your boy Bang Jam. We out here in Florida right now. I'm going to be doing some vlogs and some crazy videos in a second. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Peace out.